Hi, my name is Dorian Stone. I'm the head of organization's revenue, which basically means that I oversee our B2B businesses. So Grammarly Business is designed to help organizations communicate better, and in doing so, employees perform better. In the US, the average employer is wasting $12,500 per year per employee as a result of miscommunication. That gets in the way of business performance. We solve that problem. We help employees communicate better. When they communicate better, they work together better. And when they work together better, companies perform better. Well, think about how the workplace has changed over the last few years. We have a more diverse workforce. We have people working an increasing number of applications in the workday. We have rising customer expectations about wanting to get things right the first time when they're working with a company. You add all that up, and what you find is that the importance of communication has only gone up, but the difficulty of communication has also gone up. And as a result, a lot of companies have been trapped in needing to either choose to improve the quality of the way they work, the way they communicate and so on, or the efficiency. And that trade-off, we believe, does not need to exist. So Grammarly Business serves to be able to improve both quality and efficiency, and we do it in a way, and we strive to do it in a way, that actually drives engagement of the employee as well. Because the way that we engage with the employee in real time, the way it's woven into just getting work done, makes their life easier. So you get a triple benefit. Communication is the backbone of business. People get up every day and they have to come together to work together for business to run. But communication is hard. When it goes well, teams perform well. When it goes poorly, teams perform poorly. And it's exceptionally costly. Now, what do employers typically try to do? Well, we typically try to train people to communicate better and do better. But that's like mowing the lawn. Every once in a while, you got to go back and you got to do it again. You got to mow everything down. Right? Well, what if you fix that problem to begin with? What if what you could do is actually improve the way com employees communicate every day in the course of just getting work done faster and easier? And that's what Grammarly Business is about. So let's talk about the ways that poor communication impact business results. And by doing that, I think we'll show how effective communication drives business results. Think in a common contact center. Right? You call in or you're emailing with the contact center. When something's not clear, it has to be done a second time. Okay, well, what happens as a result of that? One, now a company has had to pay an employee to do something twice that should have only been done once. Two, as a customer, you're frustrated. You wasted time and you had a lower customer experience or worse customer experience. Okay, effective communication solves those problems, right? You get things done right the first time, you pay for them to be done once, and customers are happy for it. One of the really fun things about what I get to see at Grammarly Business every day is the way that we are actually improving both efficiency, quality, customer experience, employee engagement all at once for employers and for their employees. Like that's a very cool thing. It's rare to have a solution that can drive all those benefits in parallel without having to make trade-offs. It's fun to see it when it happens, and it happens increasingly regularly, which is one reason why we see so many companies taking on Grammarly business and making it part of their core application stack. When you think about the types of teams where communication is important, it's hard not to have a team in your organization that you could actually say this is true about. Your legal team, your customer support team, your sales team, your marketing team, it goes on and on. I mean, your engineering team, if you're a technology company, for example, they have to communicate effectively to do what they're doing. In each of those teams, when you have ineffective communication, companies take longer to get to their goals, spend more money in doing it, and frankly, usually have more frustration along the way. When you have effective communication, you move faster towards your goals, you save money doing it, and usually everyone is better off and happier for it. And as a result of that, usually you see better top line performance as well. As the workforce continues to diversify, the need for effective communication becomes even more important and solving for it becomes more valuable. You have more people in a workforce that communicate differently, think about things differently, and what might be clear to one is unclear to the other. And it's not until there's a problem that you find out, which means you've already incurred the cost. So the more diverse the workforce is, the more important it is to have effective communication and solutions to ensure that everyone is working together effectively. That's what we do. So a lot of organizations bring in Grammarly Business for every single employee because it is so important for every single employee to communicate well together and understanding that as their workforce diversifies, as people are working at distance, it only becomes more and more challenging. And as a result, it's only more and more valuable to solve for. Grammarly helps tens of millions of people every day communicate more effectively. When we set out to help businesses perform more effectively through better communication, we set out to actually figure out some of the particular 
challenges that those organizations have and they get in the way of their performance. And that led to some features that are unique to our Grammarly business product. One example of those features is our style guide. Our style guide allows businesses to say this is how they want their terms to be used, what language they want to use. Do you have employees? Do you not have employees? Do you have team members? Do you want a product to be stated a certain way every time it's talked about, or can people use shorthand? Are certain terms acceptable in the workplace and certain terms not? And how do you get everybody on the same page? You can do it with training, and that certainly is valuable, but it's insufficient to affect the thousands of decisions and actions that happen across the thousands of people in an organization every single day, and to maintain consistency, quality, and then reinforce then the benefits of that across performance, culture, and so on. One of the things I'm so proud of about our success at Grammarly Business, just like Grammarly overall, is that we only are successful in one way, and that is when we improve the lives of our users, and when we improve the performance of the businesses that we work with. That's the only way that we make money. We don't sell data, we don't sell advertising, we do one thing, we do it as well as we can to the benefit of our users and their employers, and that is to help them communicate more effectively. One of the fun things over the last few years has been to see how many different types of companies and different types of jobs in those companies are improved with Grammarly Business. Whether it be Zoom, whether it be Oracle, whether it be Expedia, whether it be a manufacturing company, whether it be a professional services company, it doesn't matter. In all those cases, we find double digit improvements in efficiency and in quality. So customer uh, satisfaction or customer experience score is going up by 20%, 30% copy edit time in a marketing team coming down by 30, 40 percent. Legal teams being able to actually communicate more effectively with each other across geographies at 50, 60 percent improvement. Communication is hard. It doesn't matter what industry you're in. One of the things that's been so exciting about the last two years is to see Grammarly Business have impact across all different industries and all different company types and all different company stages. Whether you're a startup, a rapidly growing company or a mature company, whether you're Zoom, Oracle, Expedia, whether you're a manufacturing company, professional services, consulting, a, lead, a law firm, it doesn't matter. In every single case, what you find is a common truth. Communication is hard and it's valuable when you get it right. So you see 20% improvements in efficiency in a support team. You see 30% improvements in customer satisfaction scores. You see copy edit times being cut by 70% for marketing teams. You see these over and over again, and it's a very, very satisfying journey to be on.